everyone, this is Zelda and you are watching Zelda Sews. Today I was trying to decide what I wanted to sew. I, I want to sew but I don't have a plan and that's a bad thing for me because I'll just kind of, eh. well, right back here which you see is my toaster cover that I'm going to share with you what I, I did. I'll, I'll put up some video up here on the side in a moment, but I, I didn't know what I wanted to sew. And my husband said, well, why don't you sew a, a cover for the toaster since you bought the toaster? <laughs> we haven't had a toaster in years and I wanted a toaster because I was tired of toasting the bread in the oven. But that was like before Christmas. So here I have my toaster cover. No toaster underneath there. What I did, I used it's um, insole bright so that it's insulated in here. I used muslin just to um, use up what I have and this project definitely fits in the what do I have in my hand from the sewing circle Leslie because everything I had was on hand the muslin the insole bright the thread and this fabric right here I did um, just the little squares quilting or diamond pattern quilting on this I did the top piece first and I have you can see a little bit of the chalk that was left I was I marked it let me show you I'm going to show you everything I used today I'm going to take off my glasses because my eyes are bothering me right now I used this I think it's called the Hera phone or Hera so well it it marks your fabric you know you go like this and mark your fabric and you don't have to use chalk well this morning it was freezing it was minus two um, actual minus 24 wind chill but the Sun was shining so brightly and I couldn't see the markings on my back on this oops I couldn't see the markings on here so I ended up using my chalk I like this one it comes off easy and this if, if it doesn't come off I can just throw it in the washing machine but I just use the the white chalk I, I love this this was a suggestion from a friend of mine to try it and I actually like it I I tried the little chalk wheel that didn't work very well. Also, let me talk about another thing that didn't work well. I'm going, I'm going, coming back to this. Well, it could be user error. Laura, and I can't think of her channel right now. Put she bought this sheer sharp to sharpen her scissors. Well, I went to go sharpen these scissors and actually I think I made them more dull and like I said it could be user error. There's a little blade in there and you're supposed to kind of go on the angle of this. But I've never had luck sharpening my own scissors and these I just keep at my table to snip off my threads and it was working okay before. Now it's still okay but if you try to cut off like um oh i had binding strips and if you were to cut off the like a miter corner it won't do it so i don't know i'm going to look up some videos on this and see if see if uh, I'm doing it wrong. It could be. 
Excuse me. This is definitely user error. I let my husband sharpen these, and now they work fine. So, thumbs up for sheer sharp. Other things I used today, I used my clips to clip the, the pieces together. I used a couple of pins. My, this thing, I can't think of what it's called right now, but the little pointer thing. And I used it to kind of guide my fabric where it was very thick um, on through. What I used to do is and and i forgot when i go to the miter corner i like to sew off and then pull the thread out and then cut it so i have a piece of thread so that when you're sewing you can use that piece of thread to kind of help you pull your uh, fabric on through instead of using where'd it go instead of using this to push it on through I used my Kai 45 mm rotary cutter. This is better than the Ulfa and the Fiskars to me. I have not had an issue. I can cut fabric and it cuts. I don't have to go, you know, constantly trying to cut through the fabric. I love this. I use my big scissors. And I use my tape measure to measure around here because I draft self-drafted this myself. I just went and measured the top of the machine the toaster across width or width length and then the depth and then I measured all the way around the toaster and that's how I came up with this. Also let me show you I just left this little flap in the back because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough uh, room. I just left the, the flap. It's just a little overlap, just a little bit. And so it just, I, I have it toward the back because it lines up perfectly in the front. It goes right to the top of the counter. I'll show you um, a picture in here if I haven't uh, I'll do that but this was a nice project to just get started I'm happy I did it oh thank you to Diane from beyond the sewing room for showing her sewing journal I started mine just so that I can get started I didn't want to just wait I used my composition notebook I may make a little cover for it, but I, I'm just more doing the journaling piece. So instead of, I, I like Diane, she put the pictures of her garments that she made. I think when I get to that point, I will do that because this, that first uh, piece of fabric, I did finish the dress. I have a picture. It's just that I have to pull out my printer in order to get the pictures. And <laughs> that is just a little bit of annoying to do that right away. But anyway, uh, let me see. Do I have? I think I showed you everything that I used. The friction pin. This was a uh, I'll suggest a tip that. Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room talked about that she uses to write in her bullet journal. And I have a bullet journal and I think I'm going to pull that out because I do like that. I like the dotted paper that I have in there. I, I have some line. I, I'm, it's okay. I, I do like it sometimes. But I like the dotted and I like the blank sheets so that I can do what I want. But she said she used friction pins. The only thing is I can't find other friction pins that other than black. If anyone has a suggestion on the different colors that they may have, I would love I would love to the the feedback on that. That would be great. 
Well, I think I showed you everything. Oh, I did use my, I keep my little clips in here. I might have showed you that already, but I did use the clips to hold my pattern together. So I think that is everything and you're not getting away without a scripture. <laughs> Just a quick one. This is from Psalm 147.3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. I'm so thankful to God that he healeth the broken hearted. I was so distraught when my husband got sicker and I I was getting better but I was that I got sick and it was tearing me apart to see him so ill and I'm thankful to God that he heals the broken heart I was so broken hearted and he binded the thought wounds he is amazing he's awesome all right guys I will see you in the comments and you will see me on my next upload bye for now